I'm Stephen Chandler, PhD, Professor of Psychology, Senior Professor in the Department. This is my 36th year at Chapman University. My research focuses on risk factors and substance abuse. Uh, that research began back in the mid-1970s, uh, working with the Department of Veterans Affairs and doing my dissertation. Alcohol and substance abuse were considered to be pathologies of behavior prior to 1970. Congress went and decided they were diseases. So for a psychologist to be able to begin looking at something from a disease mode as opposed to from a treatment mode brings really the experimental techniques of the psychologist to full capabilities. The undergraduate here at Chapman is a very different kind of person than most universities. They bring a level of curiosity, unbounded curiosity, that you don't find at larger institutions where it's stifled by the numbers. So you need to provide opportunities that capitalize on that curiosity, which means doing research that is unique, research that is important, research for which there's not much known, therefore any research that's done adds to a knowledge base that didn't exist before. In our laboratory, therefore, if a student, a student's offered several possible opportunities. One side is the use of probe techniques to look at the way people think. Another approach is to do field studies to look at the way people process information and how they behave out in the real world. Another way is to bring in advanced measurement techniques by including more reliable measures such as physiological measures or brain mapping. A student in our laboratory will be in a laboratory that can be put against the best laboratories in the country and they will find our laboratory at least the equal if not better. They learn how to calibrate the equipment, how to record these things, how to convert it to statistically analyzable formats. They also learn how to write reports. They must take the data and convert it into a narrative where they can explain to a granting agency what it is that's happened so far and what's the potential for future successes. Anything that a student does in the laboratory gets published or presented. Their name is going to go, and it's not just their name, they're going to go and do the presentation. When they go, they're very well prepared. They're well prepared because they're coming out of a state-of-the-art psychophysiological laboratory. The students know what they're doing. They're able to hold their own very nicely, and I'm very proud of them, every single one of them. 